Dave looks like the word America. <laughs> Not America, America. He's about six feet tall, he's white, he has a gray beard, and he wears a trucker hat. And he's got to be one of the most hardworking people I have ever met. In addition to being hardworking, he's, uh, he's, he's very honest. Now, when I say honest, I don't mean, oh, he does his taxes right. <laughs> I mean painfully honest, no filter honest. With Dave, you know exactly what you get. Nowadays, it is so hard for me to tell who's being genuine and who has an agenda. And with him, you know exactly where you stand. About a year and a half ago, maybe longer, we're on the bus and we're heading down the highway. Just so you have kind of an understanding of the bus layout, let's say this is the front. Here's Dave the driver, empty seat, and then a sliding door that goes in between him and the rest of the tour bus. My buddy Alfred and I are in the living room portion and we're watching TV. We're watching the news. And on the news, there's this person who is running for some type of office. No particular office. And I guess their big plan is to erect a structure between two bodies of land. Somewhere. And I guess they want one side of the structure to finance the entire project. Well, my buddy Alfred and I, we have a lot of family that works in construction, and we know a bad job when we see one. So we started to voice our opinion out loud about how we felt about this person and what they wanted to do. We're being very loud. So loud, Dave can hear us. And then we hear Dave. <laughs> America. <laughs> I yell out to Dave. I said, be quiet, Dave. This isn't about you. He taps a button on the dashboard that activates the sliding door. And when the door is about that far from closing, he yells out, I'm building a wall. I couldn't even get upset because I was too much in shock over the fact that that came out of someone four feet away from me. My buddy Alfred and I, we look like chickens. We're like <laughs> My cell phone goes off. I take out my phone and there's a text message from Dave. And I said, that's right, he better say I'm sorry. He better say just kidding. I open up the text message and it says, and you're paying for it. 